Hey there! I'm sure, like me, you've been searching around YouTube for a good Lego Minotaur. Well, I couldn't find one, so I made my own. And here's how you make it. You're going to start off with the hooves. For the sake of contrast, make sure that they're a different color than you want the fur to be. The next thing you do is you make what looks like the shins, but are actually the arch of the foot. Cones work best for this, but you can use whatever, even those little gun things. You'll end up with one of these combinations. You'll want this piece to be the color that you want the whole body's fur to be. Next you'll want a piece with a hook for connecting to vertical bars, but a 1x2 flat brick will work too. This piece is the ankle and shin. Now if you use the 1x2 flat brick, here's what you'll have to do. You'll need to put one of these Technic pieces inside another cylinder and connect it to the knee. Then you'll need a claw piece and shove it into the hip. If you're not using the 1x2 flat brick, you'll need to do this. Connect it to the knee and you'll end up with something like one of these. Now you'll need to connect pieces like this and connect the legs to the butt. For the tail, you can use the robot arm, a Lego character arm, or just a hand, or nothing at all if you want. Now of course you can also make minotaur legs by turning the minifigure's legs around and sticking the foot into the hole in the back of the leg, but in this way he doesn't really have any knees, so I don't think it's very realistic. On the other hand, historically, minotaurs never even had bull legs, they had just the head of a bull, so you could just use a, a minifigure with a loincloth or a brown body. For the torso, you may want to use a muscled torso or just the color of the fur that you're using. Now if you want, you can add these pieces to the hands to make the arms look longer. Now connect the torso to the legs. Now if you used a torso that's turned around, you'll want to cover up the backside with a triangle or a cape of some kind. Now give your minotaur a weapon. Give him a trident, give him a whip, give him a sword, a spear, a club, whatever. And now we get to the most important part, the head. I will show you three ways of making it, and which one you decide to make depends on what type of pieces you have and in what color. For the smallest head, you'll need all of these pieces. Start by putting the eyes on the center brick and the horns on the piece with the ring on the side. Attach the horns to the center block, and then you'll need to attach these three pieces onto the remaining studs. The last thing you do is you take the arm out of the lever, and this piece will become the mouth. And you'll end up with something like this. Now of course you can also make the head in other colors, if you have the pieces for it. A larger head with eyes facing forward can be made out of these pieces. Attach horns to the binoculars, and attach them to the sides where the eyes on the previous one were. Fit the eyes on the front, and attach the mouth. Shove the head on the body and put a 1x2 flat plate on the back of the head. This next way uses very different pieces. It's best if they're all the same color, but subtle differences is fine. Attach a flat 1x1 one one to the robot torso, followed by the hook piece. Half attach the flat 1x2 plate on top, and then add the hands as the horns. You may want to attach the head by the weird curvy piece, or you can attach it on the second notch and leave the back hanging down over the cape. And of course you can make this head with other colors. So which combination was your favorite? Black, grey, brown, or burgundy? with? Side eyes, front eyes, or no eyes? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, do what you normally do when you like a video. Like the video. And also, let me know what mythical creature I should try to make next. Thanks for watching!